Hi, I'm Tony Pellegrino, founder of Genrite Off-Road, and we are here at the 2024 King of the Hammers. This is, if you're not aware, the toughest single day race in the world. There are several classes to this race. Um, I have raced the unlimited class for over 10 years, and that is now continued on by my son, Jordan, who is now racing um, a very high tech unlimited class car. All of the 4,400 cars that we've built and raced are over 800 horsepower. They're four wheel drive, uh, run at least a 40 inch tire, if not a 42 inch tire. They're long travel, 28 to 30 inches of travel. Um, these are very, very capable, fast cars. They'll go up to 130 miles an hour and uh, they'll crawl straight up ledges. So uh, we're talking about a very, very high tech capable car. We've learned over a lot of years about how important it is to have high quality, well-made parts. Um, I can't even speak enough to how important that is because you're out here in the desert where you are going through incredibly difficult obstacles. And uh, if anything fails, you are stuck. And in this race, they use you as traction. If you, if you become stuck in the trail, they just run you over. So in a race like this, suspension is just as important as horsepower. You've got to have good suspension. All of those components in the suspension, as you know, are made up of many, many different components. Every single one has to be high quality. And uh, if, if you cheap out on anything, it's gonna break. So over the years, the speed has increased in, in which we're able to go better shocks, better technology. And uh, we've always run a 40 inch tire or bigger, sometimes a 42, depending on the race. And uh, over the years, we've had those ball joints on the knuckle going bad. And uh, we've either found them bent or we've had a break, which took us out of the race. Um, and in 2017, I actually had one break when I was going over 100 miles an hour and we tumbled six times only to stop and then be hit by the car behind us. So um, I've, I've lived, eat and breathe every bad component there is out there on the market. If you're talking about ball joints lasting through something like King of the Hammers, they'd be good for one day. And I'm talking about the big ones on a Dana 60, Dana 70, something big. That they, they can't even make it one day, 200 miles um, on a rig like one of these. I stumbled onto American Iron um, kind of by chance. And uh, at the time, my ball joints were already clapped out. So um, it was perfect timing. We installed them right here um, on the lake bed almost four years ago. And uh, immediately I was racing my Jeep that year with those ball joints. Um, went right out and qualified on the race course where you know, you're know you jumping off jumps that are as big as a two-story house. And uh, those same ball joints are in my Jeep that we just pre-ran the entire 2024 KOH race course twice. So um, that Jeep travels 42 out of 52 weeks, running the hardest trails around the entire United States. And uh, it is one thing on that Jeep I do not have to worry about. My son, Jamie, also is out here with me. He's got a really built YJ and, with a V8. And uh, he just switched over to the American Iron ball joint deletes because his ball joints got clapped out. And he knew as soon as they got clapped out, he was gonna do exactly what I did and upgrade to those. And of course, as a father, I want to make sure that I'm only making sure that my son puts the best possible products on his Jeep as well. The only time I have serviced those American iron ball joints was I had gotten a bunch of water and muck in the bearing and I actually just replaced the bearing. And uh, after that, I've never had them bend or do anything that uh, took it out of service. So um, really, I just did that on normal maintenance along with everything else that I was servicing. So I'm gonna call that a win. If you're not familiar with a ball joint, every time you press it in and out, it takes a little bit of material with it. So at some point, there's not enough material left for you to even press it in and out. So having a serviceable unit like the American Iron 
delete is super important. Now, you know, look, I'm, I'm more of an extreme guy, but it's one of those things where if it'll hold up to somebody like me, it's gonna last forever on a Jeep like yours. The first time you have to replace your ball joints, you bought an axle, it's got them in there, don't put ball joints back in. Get the deletes, the American Iron deletes to be specific, and it'll be the last time you change them. My advice would be that whatever you put on your Jeep, you have to make sure it is the best money can buy, or you will replace it over and over again. And in the end, you will have spent the same money that you could have spent in the first place to buy the good one the first time. For more information about Genrite Off-Road, um, you can click on one of the links below. We've got a ton of YouTube videos, a strong social media presence on Facebook and Instagram. Um, we're, we're very active and we lead a lot of our own events across the entire nation. So feel free to come say hi or meet up with us at one of the different events around the country. We'd be happy to go out and wheel with you.